of the strangest things which is actually a reality of the entire world but also in india is the fact that we collectively as a society have placed more importance on money and profits especially in the care of healthcare especially in the field of healthcare we have placed more importance on profits rather than humans who could be better by using certain kinds of medicines that comes from certain kinds of plants which has been prohibited for absolutely no freaking good reason the reason that the government wants to tell you is there is this plant called cannabis which we know it as ganja is very dangerous to the society but the government has no scientific backing to prove that neither have they conducted any kind of scientific inquiry back then while undertaking this act which is the narcotics drugs and psychotropic substances law of 1985 they haven't conducted any kind of scientific inquiry and they haven't created a proper expert based opinion they've simply listened to what the american government wanted many countries to do which to which india was also invited both in 1961 and 1971 when initially nehru was the prime minister and then indira gandhi was the prime minister and then both the times the indian government actually said no to american government saying we would not want to classify cannabis uh, uh, as a drug and india did not become a signatory to uh, the single conventions of narcotics or the psychotropic substances uh, that was conducted in vienna um but some thing happened in 1985 when rajiv gandhi was the prime minister the entire cabinet was filled mostly with congress party members there was no bjp at the moment in full force uh so the force from the american government and the united nations was very strongly enforced because the 25 year time period that was provided to all the countries to take action related to the war on drugs to which cannabis was also included along with very hard drugs and uh, lethal drugs hard drugs as in synthetic drugs and lethal drugs as in drugs when which one can overdose and kill themselves to which cannabis was also added in that particular list for thousands and thousands of years cannabis was used as a medicine it was used as a spiritual uh, catalyst uh it was used as a uh, uh as a relaxing activity uh but it is not lethal it cannot kill you and neither is it, is it addictive nor is it like very dangerous and history has speaking the history has spoken volumes about this uh cannabis culture uh but we are living in a world where they're still saying no to cannabis prohibition cannabis legalization they're still saying no cannabis could be a menace to the society no cannabis uh, uh doesn't have medicinal value when all of the scientific discoveries speak otherwise but somehow the government employees the ias officers and the ministers who are responsible for creating a good society and their fundamental role is to take care of their citizens and when the citizens are dying out of diseases they're suffering with the lack of medications effective medications 
and something that can be grown for free in every home of India is prohibited for absolutely no reason and the reason that they want to give you is hmm, cannabis is a dangerous drug that's the taboo that is being set um, cannabis could be I mean it's cannabis could be abused what about alcohol you have created a country where men and women and children young adults are getting drunk left right and center every single day every single week every party in the name of socialization in the name of personal consumption whatever you have created a country which is 40 percent of its population is now chronic alcoholics which means they cannot sleep without alcohol and alcohol is a dangerous substance alcohol makes one lose their self-control alcohol makes one lose their cognitive abilities alcohol can cause a very acidic body alcohol can cause liver and pancreatic disorders alcohol can cause cancer and despite knowing all of these things and culturally and socially it is a huge menace in this country you know like people getting drunk and losing out on their life husbands getting drunk and going back home beating their wife and children lot of um, uh, cri criminal activities murders rapes are mainly associated with people who are uh, uh, alcohol consumers by large and you have absolutely no problem to create a society with such sort of an horrible substance that is being pushed in every nook and corner of this country from cities to uh, villages on the top to villages that is very deep down near the forest everywhere there is an alcohol shop that is opened up where is your lack of where is your sense of duty towards the country what is it that you are lacking maybe you the bureaucrats and you the politicians are highly corrupt and you have bought in and by the lobbyists of both the alcohol industry and the pharmaceutical industry maybe even the tobacco industry and you have no common sense when you say that cannabis could be dangerous to the society while alcohol is freely and widely available what a cheap third class administration cannabis was used for thousands of years cannabis was used by some of the greatest philosophers cannabis was used by uh, some of the brilliant most brilliant artists who ever lived who created and left wonderful uh, milestones of art creation for the future generations of this human civilization cannabis was used as a medicine cannabis was cannabis was used in India uh, in religious sectors in spiritual sectors as a, a social activity uh, during national festivals it unified the society it does absolutely no bloody harm when someone is stoned they're stoned they're calm they're relaxed they want to eat they want to sleep they want to uh, focus more or they want to talk more or they want to be in harmony with something higher than their own life you guys clearly lack any understanding of cannabis and in every meeting that has happened between me and all of the bureaucrats and the ministers for the last eight to nine years this video is coming out as an absolute frustration from my end after having a recent another meet with another bureaucrat of some state in India and the audacity that these guys have 
to say cannabis is dangerous. So we'll leave it to you guys. So what do you think?